Many surveyors will often recommend a wall tie survey for older properties with masonry walls. But what are wall ties? How do they fail? What damage can it cause? And what can be done to remedy them? I'm Paul Badham, Associate Director at Harrison Clark Chartered Surveyors, and in this video, I'm gonna give you an insight into the hidden world of wall ties. Cavity walls are made of two leaves of masonry with a gap between them. Sometimes the gap may have been fully filled or partially filled with insulation. Wall ties are made of metal and are a crucial component in cavity wall construction. They connect the inner and outer leaves of a cavity wall to ensure they act as a single structural unit. Modern wall ties are made of stainless steel, like this one. The ends are bedded into the mortar joints at regular spacing, and this drip in the centre should prevent any water crossing from the outer leaf to the inner leaf, provided it is laid level and doesn't have lumps of mortar on it. However, older ties may be made of galvanised metal wire, such as butterfly ties, or older ungalvanised or coated iron-based metal fishtail type ties. Wall tie failure can significantly compromise a building's structural integrity. The primary cause of wall tie failure is corrosion, particularly in older buildings. This can cause the ties to rust, and when they do so, they expand to many times their original size, and this can crack the mortar joint and lose its bond particularly on more exposed elevations, which are subject to more frequent wetting. Rust expansion of wire type ties is not much of an issue. However, these can also fail. Reaction with other types of materials used in some mortars and also in exposed coastal areas can be problematic. Wire ties used in or around the 1970s had a reduced standard of galvanizing and also may be prone to failure. It's also important to remember that older houses may not have the number or regular spacing of wall ties which are found in modern construction. Horizontal cracks along mortar joints are normally the first sign of failure. These will normally be at regular intervals. However, with wire ties, this may not always exhibit in any cracks to the external walls at all. Bulging or undulating walls can sometimes occur as the wall strength is weakened and subject to movement. In the worst cases, collapse of the external masonry leaf or parts of it can occur. The location of the wall ties is normally found by using a metal detector, and then a visual inspection is made using a boroscope or a camera. However, this can have problems, particularly if the cavity is full of insulation or the damage to the tie is actually hidden in the wall and may not be visible in the cavity. A full inspection may require exposure of the ends of the tie by either removing some of the mortar or the brickwork. The condition of the tie should be fully assessed as remediation might not be necessary and periodic ins inspection may only be the required action. The repair process normally involves drilling into the wall at regular intervals and fixing new stainless steel ties into both wall leaves, either by resin fixings, hammer driven or expansion methods. This will normally depend on the suitability of the wall. The holes are then sealed. This process can cause debris to fall within the cavity and if it, this occurs the debris should be removed from the base of the wall or elsewhere to reduce the risk of dampness. The existing wall ties should be removed, ground off or isolated from the external wall depending on what will be the best and most practical method for the circumstances and then the ex external mortar should be made good and weathertight. At Harrison Clark, our building surveyors undertake a thorough building survey and any risks of wall tie or other structural failure will be considered. We'll only recommend further investigations if we consider them absolutely necessary or if we think they might be prudent. Our team of expert surveyors can be contacted on 02381 550 051.